Man, it's been so long since I posted a video. I almost forgot how to post the video. Wow. But I'm back, man. Hey. Whew. I know I've been gone. I ain't really been gone, but I just ain't been posting. I'm back, though. With some new machine, with, with, with some new stuff. So, let me just take you through what, what I got going on here, man. I didn't, I didn't uh, join the Green Can Gang. And uh, I done set myself up here uh, with this big rock, man. Um, I'm about to get ready to run it. As you can see, my batteries are charging. You can hear them. You know, they, they charging. I'm almost there. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, I'm getting there. But uh, let's see what we got here. Man, once I put this power in here, it started tearing up everything. But you know what? I ain't gonna even say that because let me I got the Mamba Monster X. Um Mamba Monster 8X. You know what I'm saying? 8S. Uh I'm only pushing six. Uh I'm gonna get I'm gonna get to the other story here in a minute. But once I I'm, man, let's see here. I was just ready to do something different with it. And I was ready to put some power into this thing. So this is my attempt to doing it. So, tell me if I'm wrong or right. Y'all can let me know. Um, but I pulled all of the, the Spectrum stuff out. I pulled all of it out. And um, I decided to take it, take it to Castleway. So, with that being said, um, you're going to see me run it a little bit, man. And, and like I said, man, this is a big rock to start out with. But, man, I've done so much to this thing. This thing is crazy. So, as you can see, the caliper's back there. Everything is metal. I'm metaled up. Uh, 17, uh, 17 millimeter hex that I upgraded to so I can put me some nice running tires on here like some GRPs. You know what I'm saying? So, did that. Um... Look at my arms. I, I, I upgraded the arms too, man. I know, I know it's kind of dirty, but you got to deal with that today. Man, upgraded the arms. I got videos on that, man, where, where I actually did it. So if you want to see that, you know, you can definitely tune in and see what I did. But, but you see how they hooked me in? Yeah. Anyway. Um, whew, upgraded everything. Man, I had to make an adjustment here for some reason. On the inside there, you see this? You see this little, little spot right here? You know, that's the lip on the back of the armor. Um, uh, what is that? The uh, it, it holds the it, it holds the, the gearing and everything. It's the it's the actual box, but it has a lip on there. Like when you take it when you take it off, you have to lift it up and move it forward. But every time I would clip that thing in it would uh, make everything drag. So when I turn my wheels, it'll drag. Uh, if I hit the, you know, and I ain't even got the drag brake on. So, I mean, I hit the gas, it'll, when I get off the gas, it just stops like, Whoa. It, so I knew something was going on. So, um, I, but what I noticed was it would, it would like, you know, it would just clip in and, you know, do something funky. But, but when I took it out, it would run fine. So I said, man, Instead of just messing around and then running it and then it click itself back in, let me just cut it. Boom, I cut it. Made the adjustment. Long story short. Uh, what else I got over here? Uh, same thing on this side. Same thing. Calipers, of course. Um, the bar there. Yep. I upgraded that. Uh, in the front, calipers in there. I mean, everything is legit. Everything is solid, man. This thing is, this thing is a monster. So, I can't complain. Uh, everything, all the way in there, all the way into the steering servo, man. We, we upgraded everything uh, to be metal, to be metal. Let's be clear about that. Um, also, in the diffs, I, I did both diffs, uh, the front and the back. Those are all metal too. And we got the, um, the swivel uh, design. Um, um, metal in there. It's not just the regular. It's the swivel. So 
So it catches and it just, man, it's smooth, okay? So, <clears throat> got those in there. Uh, let's see here. Upgraded this thing. I know this thing is typically black, which mine is black now because when I put this power on this thing, when I turned this thing on and got it right and start, man, it tore, it like, man, I can show you better than I can tell you. Hold on. No, I kept it. Nah, I probably tossed it. But, oh, there, no, 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 didn't toss it. Check this out. Look at that. Look at those grooves in it. Gone. 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 It wiped out the grooves. So it took it out. So, um, before I order another one or whatever, I just put the plastic one back on. So the plastic one is holding. It went out there and ran. It did its thing. Um, let me tell you what I got. Let me show you what I got, man. I bought the, uh, oh, yeah, you can see the price. I'm going to trip. Yeah. Uh, the 515 2200 KV sensor brush, brushless motor, sensored brushless motor. <laughs> so, uh, five millimeter shaft. So, I got a uh, 24 on it. So I got a 24 pinion on it. So it was running kind of hot in the beginning, I guess, because I don't know if I got it tuned right or if I, I went too heavy on it or whatever. Oh, got the Castle Link as well, so I can just set up to do the settings in the ESC uh, wirelessly. So uh, that's a bet. That, that's what's up right there. Um, I had to add a fan in here. Remember I had a fan on the other one? I went ahead and put this fan up in there. Uh, I just stuck it right in the middle here and uh that keeps everything cool uh the install was pretty cool it was easy you know i just took the old esc off the, the old spectrum esc off um i mounted this onto the box with two-way tape um and i got my box screwed in all the way down got the box screwed all the way in don't mind the two-way tape right here but that's just my antennas because I, I didn't have nowhere to put my antennas i was too lazy to go underneath the car and stick it in the hole and, and do all of that so I just so I just drug it around and I just pulled it up right there so no big deal uh, my power button right here put it up top put my uh, B link uh, which is the castle B link put that right there uh, I had to do something interesting because this only came with the two prong set and I know I wanted to run 6s on this thing so I had to um, I probably did a horrible job. Oh boy, yeah, it looks bad. But anyway, um, I tried to do a job myself, man. I, I I I took the lead off my old spectrum because my spectrum has uh, the whole setup this this way. So I was like, man, I know I can do it. Let me just go ahead and put this thing together. So so I did the same thing that I took the design from from the spectrum. Uh, ESC and just did it over here to the to the uh, castle one. So um, got it going there. Boom, coming out here, back over into this one, back into the ESC. Boom, and I plug both batteries up over here. It's perfect. But you see these things kind of riding up on me. They ain't going nowhere, but you know it just looks weird. They ain't going to connect. But anyway, uh, yeah, that just looks that looks sloppy. I'll, I'll end up redoing that, but I was just so anxious to get out there and run this thing. And when I ran it, it did not disappoint. It did not disappoint. I can tell you one thing: if you get castle, if you let me turn this thing around, if you do a castle motor, it's gonna perform. It's gonna perform. I mean, I mean, that's just what it is. It's, it's gonna perform. So. Uh, I'm impressed. Um, as soon as I got out there, I lost the wheel. And I'm running hooms. So I, I run hooms when I'm testing. Just doing, just testing it out. I don't want to put my um, my big boy tires on there. Ooh, it is wearing that tire out. I think that was when I did a burnout. Kind of messed the tire up. That's okay, though. Um, I was out there white smoking hot dogging for some, for some uh, neighbors that came out. I wanted to take a look at it, so you know, I always pull the big rock out and, and let it rip. Um, other than that, man, everything is the same. Oh, I'm almost charged up. I'm 
almost charged up. Oh, I'm not running anything Spectrum anymore, man. I got this Faba. Ooh, it's kind of dusty. I tell you, man, it's been it's been on the shelf. It's been hot out here in Texas, man. I don't know where y'all boys been, but it's been like a hundred and something degrees, man, all the time. It's just we just not getting a break. But the uh, the T four PM. So, um, pretty good remote. It's better than the Spectrum that I had. Um, only in a sense where I can actually uh, control the speed, the throttle speed. So I can control how heavy it hits out the box, how soft it hits, and how slow it goes through my, how slow or fast it goes through my rotation. Uh, when I say rotation, my my uh, my actual uh, my actual tune. So we gonna get more into tuning later, some other time. But you know, I'll go through my remote the next time as well, just to kind of show you some settings and just kind of give you a little bit of basic understanding about it. I'm still learning it myself. My boy be talking to me. We be, we be chopping it up. But once he teach me, you know, I got it. So um, I'll be able to run that out. Uh, some settings in the, in the Mumble Monster X that I use. Um, I might do that. I might do a video on that. I might do a video on that. Y'all want to see it? Uh, I'll do that. The, that'll be the next video. Uh, let's see here. Uh, some stuff away, man. I had I had to do a lot of work. I had to do a lot of work, man. I had a whole bunch of stuff break, and that's why I kind of put it on the shelf. So I kind of did a little bit of work to it. I just didn't feel like doing it at the time, but I finally got it done. I had to put a I had to put a slipper plate, clutch, hub, assembly, thingamajiggy. So I did the maintenance set, slipper clutch maintenance set. And then every time I would turn the, uh, I went through three of them, like without even running the car, just trying to uh, tighten up the slipper clutch. So, but I've learned, I guess I just tighten it as much as it goes and just stop because it is super sensitive. It'll, it'll mess up. Uh, but I did that and then I just put some Loctite on it. I just said, hey, we're we, we gonna Loctite it. So once I put the Loctite on it, it was all good. Um, let's see, I can't turn the camera around. Okay, anyway. Um, 